on the hillside and into the yellow, porous soil. Yardong houses, a form of cave dwellings, are built and used as homes by people on the Lost Plateau for over 4,000 years. When American journalist Edgar Snow first set foot on the communist revolutionary base around Yen'an in 1936, the Yaodong houses left a strong impression on him. Throughout the Northwest, as has been the habitat of centuries, men live in homes dug out of hard, fudge-coloured cliffs. Cave houses, as the Chinese call them, cool in summer, warm in winter. Eighty years on from Snow's signature visit to Yen'an, China has been through tremendous changes. The Yaodong houses or cave dwellings, one of the earliest human architectural forms, are still widely seen on the Loess Plateau. On a hot day like this where it's 31 degrees Celsius outside, it's actually surprisingly cool in here. Now you may be wondering, so if it's really cold in here, what do the occupants do at night when they want to go to bed? And that's when this cooking apparatus comes into play. Uh, the heat used here when making your dinner is transferred into the bed behind me, which keeps the occupants nice and warm, despite the temperatures in here being quite cool. Cave dwelling life is simple, yet comfortable. Many still live in Yaodong homes, which are now well furnished, with running water, electricity and natural gas. For his whole life, 73-year-old Zhang Rei Sheng has been living in the cave house, in which his father hosted Chairman Mao Zedong for one night. That was in 1935, when the footstool and hungry Red Army arrived in Shanxi during the legendary Long March. Today,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早上,早